Later with one in a million. Is it my goal? Is it your goal? Sometimes I'm good, you good. But now I'm not at all. Say yes or say no. Last year, she won two video music awards for her song, Try Again, which also earned a Grammy nomination. This is a shot. This is a big shot. I just started um, filming Anne Rice's Queen of the Damned in Australia, and my brother and I flew 22 hours to be here just in appreciation of the nomination. So thank you so much. As an actress, she scored a surprise hit opposite Jet Li in her 2000 film debut, Romeo Must Die. That success earned her a role in a still-to-be-released sequel to The Matrix. 2001 saw Aaliyah, her name is Arabic for highest, most exalted one, release her third album, and its success brought her to the peak of her career and made her much in demand. But as she told MTV's show Diary, she was willing to make the necessary sacrifices. I have to honestly say that everything is worth it. The hard work, the times when you're tired, the times when you're a bit sad. In the end, it's all worth it because it really makes me happy. And I wouldn't trade it for anything else in the world. At the time of her death, Aaliyah had just completed shooting a video with director Hype Williams for the song Rock the Boat. She leaves behind movies and music that will capture forever the talent, vitality, and grace that made her so significant an artist at such a young age. Now it's hard to say what I want my legacy to be, you know, what I want people to say when I'm long gone. I want people to look at me as a full-on entertainer and a good person. And certainly she was a special person. Aliyah was survived by her parents, Diane and Michael Houghton, and her brother, Rashad, as well as so many friends that she left behind in the music industry. In fact, we are joined by one of them right now. Timbaland, a longtime producer and friend of Aliyah, is on the line. Timbaland, you there, man? Yeah, I'm here. Thanks for calling in, man. You first worked with Aliyah, I believe, on the One in a Million record, right? Yeah, that's the first time I um, got with her, and I was introduced, I mean, my lawyer had a tape, and um, they got it to Barry and Jomo Hankerson, and um, they heard one of me and Missy's songs called Sugar and Spice, and she always liked the work that we'd done, and um, she wanted to fly us up and finish, do more work with her, so, and then ever since then, she became like my little sister. Tim, you know, there's so many young women out there in music, in R&B, and, and yet people talk about Aaliyah as being someone special, as an individual as well as a talent. Why do you think she, why was she special to you? Man, yeah, I mean, it's like, you, it's a hard time to really ask me why was she special. She, she's a sister, she's like blood, and I lost blood, you know what I'm saying? It's a, her creativity is so, me and her together had this chemistry, and I feel like, I kind of lost half of my creativity side. You know, it's kind of hard for me to really get out and talk to the fans right now, but I feel like they need to know, you know, that beyond the music, she is a brilliant person. She's like the specialist person that I've probably ever met. She's real sweet, don't mean no harm, don't do nothing to nobody, she's just quiet. Because I know a real personal, you know, and it's just it's a hard time right now. Tim, thanks for calling in, man. I know it's a very tough time for you and for many people who knew Aaliyah. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thank you all. All right, take care. In addition, uh, we have a statement today released by DMX. Uh, he had released a statement to MTV News describing Aaliyah as, quote, talented, classy, warm, beautiful, compassionate, and humble. He called her, quote, a down-to-earth sister with enough energy to put anyone on a cloud. Of course, DMX worked closely with Aaliyah on both the film and soundtrack of Romeo Must Die. Also, a statement from Jive Records on behalf of R. Kelly, who produced Aaliyah's first album, saying, quote, R. Kelly is deeply saddened by the tragic loss of Aaliyah. His thoughts and prayers are with her family during their time of grief. Puffy, as you mentioned, you are uh, you were friends with Ali, and, and yes. in fact, um, you guys presented together recently at the MTV uh, Movie Awards. Yes. Can you talk about what she meant to you and why she was special? I mean, um, she's just one of those individuals that that would light up a room. 
she's one of those individuals that are very down to earth. She doesn't really feel like um, Aaliyah, like a big superstar. She always felt like just a beautiful person, like a special individual that um, whenever you was around her, she treated everybody the same, whether it was a fan or a person on the street or me. She, she was just very consistent as that type of individual and she was just like just a beautiful young lady that's the best way to describe her she was just beautiful all around whenever you saw her she always greeted you with a smile no matter if she knew you or didn't know you so many people talk about in the wake of this the, the future the potential future she had not only as a singer but as an actress would you agree that uh, she had a oh, big yeah. future she was definitely um i mean her time was coming where she was going to just explode um, she was already huge, but she was definitely going to get bigger with all the movies that were coming out, her hit album. Um, you could tell we, we all saw her grow up from a little girl into a woman. And, you know, it's, it's just a hard, sad day just for everybody, but it's also a wake-up call that we have to all appreciate life and appreciate each other while we're here. And my prayers go out to her and her family, who I must say, like, that's the closest family, like, I've ever seen. You would see her mother and her walking, um down Central Park West holding hands and her brother was so tight that they would always be holding hands and they were like the true definition of a closely knit family. Speaking of which... And also I, her, her brother and her father. I don't know if there's anyone in this room who knows more about dealing with sudden loss mm -hmm. than, than you do. Um, is, is something that sudden and that shocking? I mean, how do you, how do you even begin to, to cope with something like that? I mean, I, I don't think there's any remedy for it. Um, I mean, the only thing I, I know you have to pray, we all have to pray for the, the family and friends. Um, it's just going to be a real rough, hard time, especially with an individual like that, because they're so special. And um, it, it's, it's only t time, I can't even say time will heal it, it's just that you have to pray and hopefully one day you'll be able to accept that um, they're in a better place. But it's, right. it's, it's going to be a hard situation, so we all need to pray for the family. Yes. Absolutely. And certainly we as the MTV family want to extend our condolences to the family and friends of Aliyah. And tomorrow, uh, just after TRL, we'll be airing a half-hour retrospective on the singer paying tribute to her life and the legacy she left behind. As for the video she was working on, a representative from Virgin Records says it's just still too early to tell whether the video she was shooting for the song Rock the Boat will actually ever air. Meantime, uh, TRL has put together a montage, kind of a collection of some of our greatest moments with Aaliyah. Check this out. What's up, everybody? I'm Aaliyah, and I'm taking over for Carson. MTV is mine. She's the best. And when I'm sick, I'm feeling good, I get on my phone. I'm like, Aaliyah, can you host TRL? She's like, yo, I'm doing a show <laughs> in Detroit. I'm like, cancel it. She's like, all right. This woman can do anything that she wants, and she's damn good at doing it. I have to talk to this guy over here. Come on. You are the best. Can I get a hug? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for just being you. Um, the song's basically just talking about if a guy steps to me and I don't give in right away, you know, just dust yourself off and try again. Don't give up so easily because I may just give in at some point. that I want you to meet. Sure. Someone who's been in a few videos. Someone you know. Okay. Okay? I need you to close your eyes. Okay? okay. Can you do that? Close your eyes. This is my friend. Open your eyes and say hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, crazy? <laughs> I, I have a sort of an affinity to snakes, so if you guys can help me, you know, by the end of the show, come up with something. What? What's that? Um, boots. Boots? <laughs> boots, that's cute. You that's, like it? That's cute. Just like the birds that whistle in the trees, it is the leaves so happily. Well, you're my tree, and through the storms, you stood strong for me, kept me warm as can be. View the world through the eyes of the 10 spot tonight at 10. Catch an all-new MTV2 Presents Artist to Watch featuring System of a...